Hey guys, here's a no calculator challenge and we're solving for X a whole number. So let's see if we can do this. I'm gonna use nothing but this pen. All three of these can be written with a base two. So I'm gonna put down parentheses and two is just two, four is two squared and eight is two cubed. And that's still equal to 266, 304. So for the next step, these exponents can multiply. So this is gonna become two to the X plus two to the two X plus two to the three X. And that's still equal to 266. 304. And I'm going to do a little bit of funny manipulation and put it in parentheses again. This will be 2 to the x to the 1 plus 2 to the x squared plus 2 to the x cubed equals 266, 304. For the next step, I'm going to factor out the greatest common factor 2 to the x. And 2 to the x times what is 2 to the x? That's 1 plus, and then 2 to the x times what is 2 to the x squared? That would be 2 to the x plus, and then 2 to the x times what is 2 to the x cubed? that'd be 2 to the x squared, or I'll say 2 to the 2x. And this is all still equal to 66, 304. So from here, we've split this up into an even part. 2 to the x will be even. And then 1 plus 2 to the x plus 2 to the 2x, this will be odd. So I think if I break this into prime factors, put all the evens here and all the odds here, that might work. Let's try it out. We can make a factor tree for this. So it'll be 2 times 133, 152. That looks right. And then that's prime. And then we'll divide it by two again. That'll be 66, five, seven, six. That looks right. And we'll divide it by two again. That'd be 33,288. And then we'll break it down again. That would be 16,640. 44. And still even, so we got to break it down again. 2 times 8, 3, 2, 2, which is still even, so we break it down into 2 times 4, 1, 6, 1. So we can rewrite 266, 304 as 2 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We can rewrite it as 2 to the 6, and I'll just say times 4, 1, 6, 1. So basically, we have an even part and an odd part. So now we can rewrite this 266 as 2 to the 6 times 4, 1, 6, 1. And that'll be equal to 2 to the x times 1 plus 2 to the x plus 2 to 2 to the x. So from here, can we just say that x equals 6? So is that the answer for x? Well, I guess we can check ourselves. If this equals 4161, then we figure it out. So 1 plus 2 to the 6 plus 2 to the 12th. So basically, does that equal 4161? If so, the answer is 6 because then these two sides would be equal to each other. So 1 is just 1. 2 to the 6 is 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 plus 64. And then 2 to the 12th would be 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, 10, 12, 24, 2048, 4096. And if we add these together, we get 1, 6, 1, 4. And that's it. So if we plug in 6 for x into the original equation, it will be true. How exciting.